Hi guys, it's Alexis. I wanted to do a Victoria's Secret inspired makeup look today and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to do a little get ready with me. Uh, if you look at pictures online of the Victoria's Secret photo shoots and fashion shows, the primary focus is the glowing bronze skin, lips, brows, and lashes. Of course, I started with, I cleansed my skin and I moisturized well because I want the foundation to sit in my skin nicely. I want it to look like skin. But I do have some redness and discoloration and large pores and some acne scarring that I would like to cover up. I'm going in with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer, but you can go in with anything that suits your needs. If you have oily skin, you can use a mattifying or a pore filling primer, whatever primer that you prefer. Next, I, I don't want to wear a full coverage foundation. I'd rather wear a very lightweight foundation so that it looks more like skin, but I still want to get the coverage that I need from it. I'm going to do a little bit of color correcting, but I do my color correcting a little bit differently because if I want to go in with a lighter coverage foundation later, I don't want that green to be peeking through. I tabbed a tiny bit of green concealer on the back of my hand here, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind on the back of my hand. I'm going to blend those together so that the concealer that I apply does not appear too green. See, we have a little bit of concealer here and a little bit of green. I'm going to blend them out in the back of my hand until there's barely anything left. And I'm just going to go over the areas that I get really red. I'm going over with my finger. That way, instead of a brush or a sponge, I'm using my finger to apply this so that it blends and warms up a little bit, you know? I don't want it to drag against the skin, and I don't want it to sit on top of the skin and appear cakey. See, I went in with a very small amount just to conceal the redness around my nose, my chin, and right around my brows. Those are commonly red areas for me. Instead of a foundation, because we've concealed the area where we need the most coverage, I'm going to be going in with my Smashbox BB Water. Um, I really like this stuff. I really like the finish. Uh, it, it is very, very dewy. It's a very wet finish. I do have to set it, but that's okay because I want that dewiness today, so... Okay, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Neutralizer because I do have some darkness right here. But my main concern is my, my veins on my eyelids. They're very, very dark. Now that I've covered any areas that I felt needed covered, I'm going to set my face. Usually I go in with any translucent setting powder here. Uh, if you feel like you need a little bit more coverage, you could go in with a powder that actually provides coverage, like maybe the L'Oreal True Match powders from the drugstore. But I, instead of going my normal translucent powder route and choosing the Cody Airspun, I wanted to go in with the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. Technically, this is called a bronzer. However, I mean, it's super light but it does have just a very slight iridescence about it that is kind of perfect for a look like this where I want to glow but I want all of that set. I'm going to use my Lorac Pro to Go palette and go in the back here. There are two blush options and a bronzer option. The two blushes are very different. This one pink and this one is more of a peach. This one's called coral and it does have a bit of shimmer in it but I'm gonna mix them both and tap off the excess also to prevent going heavy-handed with blush because I can do that sometimes I will actually swipe it across my hand twice and then I'll go in. After blush, I always go in with a sponge and dab over it. 
I like to dab over with a sponge in layers a little bit. That way things just don't keep caking up and I blended it into the skin nicely. It's time to bronze and I'm going to take the Duo Fiber Brush from Coastal Scents and the bronze shade that was in that Lorac palette. to highlight but I don't want it to look obvious at all um, and I'd rather not add any more powder to my face so I'm going to take my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal I will take the damp sponge again and just dab over that area now that looks like more of a healthy skin glow Instead of a stark powdery highlight with glitter, I was really trying to avoid glitter. <laughs> I'm taking whatever's left in the back of my hand and just going down the bridge of the nose and on the cupid's bow. I can't believe it's taken me this long to get to brows, but I'm using my NYX Define a Brow in taupe. I do have naturally thick fluffy brows. I don't want to really add to those. I just want to even them out and define them a little bit. Um, especially right here in this area. They're pretty thick, but they don't necessarily match. I like the tails to be a little bit darker, so I will go in this area and fill those in. But also my brow just starts to disappear right here and really it goes out all the way there. I don't want to make the eyeshadow complicated at all. I'm just going to go in with a brown shade. Just a very light brown shade. And go over the crease. Now I'm taking that same brown shade and I'm going to smudge it underneath the lower lash line. to smoke out the outer corner of the eye just a little bit because the false lashes that I'll be using do have a little bit long wispy areas in the outer corner and I want to lift the eye and create a cat, a cat eye effect without any wings so I'll mix the brown and the black and dab in the back of my hand to get the majority of the product off once again but I'm just gonna smudge that right in the outer corner I'm blending out that outer corner now, I'm going to use this fluffy blending brush from ColourPop. When I put my false lashes on in a minute, I don't want the band to look wonky if it's not right up against my lash line, and I don't want to see skin peeking through, so I'm going to go back to that Lorac palette and get a little bit black and take this angled liner brush, tap any excess off because I don't want black fallout since I've already done my face makeup. And I'm just pushing the black shadow right into the lash line. The 
false lash will sit right on top of that black eyeshadow here in a minute but first I'm going to curl and apply mascara into my lashes <music> I don't know if you can tell but I got a lot of mascara clumps right there underneath the lower lash line so I will fix that in a second but the key to fixing that is to let it dry first so this eye is gonna look a little bit darker than this one for just a second in the meantime I'm gonna have to do my false lashes off camera because I need my mirror like right up in my face to do this and you're not going to be able to see anything. There are plenty of other YouTube videos where people can teach you how to put them on like a pro. I'm not one of those people. So I'll be right back. I just used some Ardell 110 lashes. I like them. They're a little bit thicker in the outer corners. But now we get to go in and clean up the mascara smudges that were underneath these lashes right here. This happens to me a lot. I, I'm very clumsy with mascara. So I take a spoolie. Just a spoolie. I'm using the one with the end of my eye rub pencil and lightly going over that. I'm going to brighten certain areas of the eye now, starting with the lower waterline just to make my eyes look bigger and more awake. I'm going in with a nude pencil and this is just the Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner in Nude. <laughs> Going back to my Lorac Pro to go palette and I'll be using the shade Pearl to just brighten up the inner corner. I'll even pop some just on the center of my lid and blend it out a little bit just to brighten the eyes a little bit more. The eyes are done. Uh, we kept them pretty neutral and just well-defined, so that means it opens up our options for lips. We can basically do whatever color choice we want, so I'm gonna try three different ones, starting with a, a nude rosy lip. L'Oreal Infallible Lip Pencil in Rose with a little bit of NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Istanbul on top. If you like a nude romantic look, this lip might be best for you, but I'll be doing a red lip next. I used Wet n Wild Lipstick and Cinnamon Spice to get this red lip. So my outro got deleted, so I figured I'd come back and say <laughs> the last lip option was ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Wink. This is a little bit more my style, a bold lip and defined eyes. I'm actually not that creative with eyeshadow. It's kind of a New Year's resolution of mine this year actually to play, play around with more colors, but I hope that this video was helpful to some people. I know that um, my makeup style is a little bit slower. I'd rather be slow and explain things to you so that you can actually follow along with me. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Comment down below which lip option was your favorite and tag me in anything when you recreate this look. Um, you can find me at Alexis Lipstick on all platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Okay, thanks. You tired of waiting for me? Yeah, it's okay. He's a big baby. I know, it's okay. No, you don't, okay, oh, you're not a parrot. You're not a parrot, okay. This is not good, this is not good. No, 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 no. I'm blending out that definition. I'm blending out that outer, I'm blending out 